Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Big T Anderson and this is Shrouding the Heavens by Brown Eyes Yellow Dragon. Gravity Tales, obviously. Now, this the author is, uh, sorry, translator is Brown Eyes Yellow Dragon. Ah, uh, you can tell the caffeine hasn't kicked in yet. Actually, you know what? Hold on. We, we gotta do a double because you know it's not a recording until, uh, until we have issues because first we got, we gotta go through the medications. And there we go. Toss those aside. Give the the juice a shake. Ah, much better. Now, where were we? Oh yeah, shrouding the heavens. Authors Chen Dong, translator is Brown Eyes Yellow Dragon. Obviously, I'm only gonna do the first chapter, so if you enjoy it, links down below. Some people go, yeah, your release schedule's been a bit off this month. Like, yeah, about that. Sorry. Working on it. But still. Anyway, let's begin. Life is the world's greatest miracle. The universe is everywhere. It is both present and incorporeal. From ancient times to now, eternity has grown longer, but its origin is still unknown. Many scientists hypothesize that Earth was the sole source of life, the boundless starry sky of the universe. Humanity was very lonely. Although there were millions of stars, no one could find a second source of life. But mankind never gave up. In the last century, many probes were launched into space. Voyager 2 was an unmanned space probe that was launched into space in 1977 from the Kennedy Space Center in the U.S. It carried a golden record that contained music and greetings in 55 languages intended to serve as a greeting for any alien civilization who might one day find it. From the 1970s to the present, Voyager 2 had always been traveling alone. The vast cosmos, like a small insignificant speck of dust, but many contemporary space probes had already broken down or ceased to make connections, forever fading away in the lonely universe. Thirty years passed, and humanity's science and technology unceasingly grew. Even more advanced space probes were developed, and it might not be much longer before they could take the next step forward in their space explorations. But even if this was the case, it was impossible for a new space probe to overtake Voyager 2. 33 years had passed. Voyager 2 was already 140 billion kilometers away from Earth, and by this time it had already reached its third escape velocity and its flight could no longer be guided. It left the solar system, becoming a truly interstellar spaceship. In the dark and cold cosmos, the stars appeared like sparkling diamonds embedded in a dark background. Although Voyager 2 traveled extremely fast in the vast and icy universe, it appeared like nothing more than a small ant crawling across the ground. In the present time, over 30 years later, Voyager 2 made a startling discovery. Within the dull and lonely universe, nine huge corpses were found lying still at that place. On February 2nd, 2010, NASA received a mysterious digital transmission from Voyager 2. After a difficult decryption, an inconceivable picture appeared. The people working in the Space Energy Agency monitoring, they were all just exceedingly shocked. Their expressions changed and they became like clay statues, incapable of movement. Only after a long time did they recover and the room immediately became chaotic. God, what is this? It's not possible! Voyager 2 had long since passed the distance from which it could be controlled. All it could do is continue onward. After sending back this mysterious digital message, it continued onward into the darkness of the universe towards more distant, forlorn star fields. And even now that it had sent back such a shocking, monumental image back, it was far too distant. And so humanity was powerless to control it. 
The mysterious message was never announced to the public not long after. Voyager 2 malfunctioned and no longer continued to send back any messages to Earth. As for the image, a period was drawn on it and it was concluded. However, sometimes things were out of humanity's expectations. Whether it was knowledge and studies on space life or physics, the scientists of the space station were all blessed by the heavens with superior circumstances. In 1971, the Soviet Union sent up the first successful manned space station, and since then, humanity had already set up nine more. On June 11, 2010, the present day, the expressions of the astronauts on the International Space Station changed, and their pupils shrunk. Until now, the existence of gods had been denied. If someone continued to believe in a religion, it was only a hollow belief to place one's hopes on. But at this moment, several of the elite astronauts on the space station all received a strong shock to their thinking. In front of them was an imaginable scene. Outside the International Space Station, within the cold darkness of the universe, nine titanic dragon corpses lay motionless. They appeared as if they had come from ancient times, causing people to feel an endless, ancient desolation. Their appearance was very similar to the dragons from ancient myths and legends. Each corpse was hundreds of meters long. It appeared to be cast of molten metal, which gave them a sense of shocking strength. Each corpse was a five-clawed black dragon. An amethyst horn flickered with light, while its pitch-black body gleamed. Its scales appeared to flicker within the darkness with a mysterious brilliance. The existences of such legends were similar to gods in that they were placed above the laws and rules of nature. However, scientific knowledge had developed greatly by this time, and no one would believe in the existence of these legendary dragons. In the space station, the astronauts were all staring at the scene before them. It was beyond them. It was something that they were completely incapable of believing. Within the forlorn universe, these icy dragon corpses appeared to be made out of indestructible steel to the point where the terrifying amount of strength within the corpses could easily be sensed. The only thing was that they had already lost their lives. They would forever rest within the peaceful coldness of the cosmos. After being profoundly shocked by the corpses, the elite astronauts' pupils once again shrunk when they saw an even more shocking scene. While the nine dragon corpses were all 100 meters long, at the end of each dragon was a black iron chain that connected each dragon's back to something within the darkness of the space. A 20 meter long bronze coffin emerged suspended serenely within the darkness. The chain appeared to have been forged a thousand times. It was both thick and sturdy. The black point at the end gave people an incomparably sinister and cold feeling about it. The huge bronze coffin was of a simple design. On it were vague ancient designs that seemed to overflow with a feeling of antiquity. Who knew just how many years this coffin had drifted through the universe? Nine dragons pulling a coffin. In the pitch black, icy cold universe, these nine dragon corpses ended up attached to a huge bronze coffin by an iron chain, and facing this astonishing scene, after a brief spell of absent-mindedness, the elite astronaut immediately started shouting, SEND A MESSAGE BACK TO EARTH! So. If you enjoyed it, let me know. Links down below so you can continue. Have a good one. Ta-ta for now.